Mess. This is my channel. Hope you enjoy my vids, my reviews for my movies, or just my TikTok compilations that I got on my TikTok profile. All right, if you want to subscribe, hit that notification bell, subscribe, like, share my videos. You know how we do. Let's build up our community, okay? Stay strong. Be a messers until I find a good. Oh, be a mess nation. You like BMS Nation better? Let's do it, BMS Nation. All right? That's my community, the BMS Nation. If you're part of that. All right? Click below. Details should be right below. Thank you. Fans, BMS Nation. This is uh, Jose Vasquez, also known as Joey from BMS, Base Video Studios. And um, let me see. let's get into it, okay? So basically, um, we're gonna we're gonna break it down like we usually do, but we're gonna do a little different now. We're gonna include this little clip, all right? And uh, this may be on this video, or this might be the unedited clip with the clip. You know what I mean? There's gonna be two versions to this, okay? Just gotta indicate that, you know, due to um, YouTube, they like to uh, implement rules and regulations that com is convenient for them, you know? So, um, we're gonna try to slip it in. We're gonna try to do this little clip that pertains, that, that's my favorite scene. Hopefully, it'll, you know, it'll pass, the, you know, it'll pass through. You know? Hopefully, YouTube will, give, will have a heart, you know? Alright, so this is my favorite scene from the clip. After we view the clip, we're gonna start breaking things down. Uh, I'm gonna give you the details, specs, and everything, and then we're gonna talk about the scene we just watched. Alright, um, yeah, well, without further ado, let's get into this clip right now. Come on, pay that clip. You're mercenary, you're in it for the money like everybody else. It's never about the money, it's always about the money. If it's not about the money, what the hell else is there? I tried to explain it to you, Claude, but there's some things that just can't be taught. Okay. Hi, welcome back. So that was the scene that we just watched was uh, from The Substitute. And uh, let's get into it. Let me uh, break down the details for you guys. Just give me one second, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up. You know how you know how we do over here. All right. So um, let's get it. So okay. The Substitute is a 1996 American action thriller uh, directed by Robert Mandel and starring Tom Berenger, Ernie Hudson, Mark Anthony, and William Fortz, Raymond Cruz, and Louis Guzman. It was filmed by Miami Senior High School. All right. So let's see. One more second, guys. Okay guys, so, so basically, um, it was a thr thriller film directed by Robert Mando, okay, and uh, let me see, it was released on April 19th, 1996, running time is 114 minutes, country was the United States, language is English. Box office was fourteen million eight hundred eighteen and one hundred sixty six dollars. Wow! All right. So the scene you just saw, just like you know, uh, before we got you know we came back to to us, was um the scene where um I think his name is Roll. He plays the principal, played by Ernie Hudson, um, and the cat the other character was um 
played by Tom Berenger, he was, he was portraying um, Mr. Smith. And they were just going at it. They were just going at it. Um, you know, during the whole movie, you know, he was, he was infiltrating as a, a substitute teacher, but he had a background as a mercenary, so he was killing people. He has a history, he has a body count. Um, overall, man, this, this movie was good, and um, it delivered. You know, his crew that helped him was right, was, was right there with him, and all I gotta say is, you know, it's an enjoyable movie, you know, every, it's like, it has a little bit of everything. It's a, you know, intense thriller, drama, you know, action scenes, everything was solid in that movie. Like, they could fight. <laughs> Tom, uh, Mr. Smith, he was whooping a double S, okay? I'm gonna start using codes because I don't want to say, pronounce it out, you know? But you know the spelling. Um, basically, you know, uh, the scene where, you know, Mr. Smith's, you know, woman um, was running, uh, well, jogging or whatever, and she got clubbed in the, in the leg. That was her fault. You know why? Because why are you messing with gang members and you are disrespecting them with their hand signs? Leave them the F alone. Just mind your business. You know? That's, that's what's wrong with people out here. They don't mind their business. Then they go jogging and they get beat up and they don't know why. Right? I mean, come on now. I go jogging, I go jogging in peace because I don't know nobody's going to run up on me and if they do, they're going to get these hands. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm sorry, you know, if I upset you guys or somebody got offended by me saying that. I know this is a sensitive culture, a sensitive lifestyle now that we got going on here. But I could care less, man. I'm going what, to say what's on my mind. If you don't like it, go to another content creator because I'm not the one. Alright. So we got that out of the way. Some big doofus guy, six foot two, just whacked her knee out of place. <laughs> Whack, whack, whack! <laughs> Grown ass man fighting like a, a, a five foot woman, you know? Wow, you're really a tough guy. Really a tough guy, huh? Meet me in the street with that nonsense, man. You know, I got a, I got a background too, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, I love fighting bigger people, man. They, they stupid, you know? But anyway, I'm sorry, I, I got a little too emotional with that one. Let's get to the next um, topic. All right. That crazy guy that's friends with uh, Mr. Smith, he's a nutcase, he's a loose cannon. Somebody should just smack him, pistol with him, because he's crazy. But he was like flip-flopping, I didn't trust that guy. I'm like, why would you do this and then do that, you know? Like, come on, man. Then he was giving a chance to the guy with the ponytail that beat his girl up to try to fight him. You know what I'm saying, for what, man? You already had him subdued, why you gotta make, go through all that nonsense? That's the extra shit. And then he got shot at them, good for him. And he died with red teeth. It looked like he had Kool-Aid. Like he just drank a cup of Kool-Aid. And he, was, he, like, he looked like this. Like, you look you're stupid. You know, you died stupid. You didn't die honorable death, my man. <laughs> All right, let's get to other stuff. And that teacher, Captain Saberhold, with the dreads. Good for his ass. I was not feeling sorry for him. You know why? Because he didn't believe Mr. Smith. Sorry for yelling, guys. I got emotional. I just saw some intense movies back to back. And a little... A little flustered. Just finished seeing Misery. You gotta see that. That one's coming up soon. Whew. All right. What else, man? Uh, let, let's just talk. Let's just, you know, get into it. Because I got, I got more stuff. I just, it's just going to hit me right now. Give me a second. Oh, I didn't like when the, 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 okay, his girlfriend, she got mad because she found out that he wasn't really doing what he was supposed to be doing at work. But he was really a, portraying a substitute for her, for her class. And Daryl, which is the dread guy, the teacher, before he died, such a snitch. Why are you gonna open your mouth to this lady, man? You know, you listen to a disabled woman. Like, a disabled woman's listening to this guy, like, like his word is gold. Are you, do you guys have an affair with him or something? Because you took his word like gold, you know? Why you don't back up, why, women, why are you not loyal to your man? Why you gotta put um, Chinese food in his face when you get upset? Anyway. Just give me a second, guys. I'm a little emotional right now. You know? I'm a little emotional. Alright? I'm a little emotional. Alright, let's get back to the review. So anyway. Alright. We got that out of the way. Okay, Mark Anthony. You're a mother effer. You know why? 
You nailed that role. I hated, I hated your guts when I saw you in that movie. I hated your guts. Mr. Larko, Juan Larko, you know? What kind of weird name is that, Larko? Then you walk around looking at people weird. I look at you weird too. All right. I got a little too emotional, sorry about that. <laughs> bang, bang, chitty, bang, bang. No, okay, anyway, so, um, all right. All right, we took care of Mr. Juan Larko. My, my, I didn't put this scene in because I liked it, the principal getting beat up scene better. But those kids, those people that were getting thrown out the library scene, <laughs> bravo. He threw like four or five bodies out that window, bro. They were flying, security, everybody was flying out that window, man. They kept sleeping on Mr. Smith. People, everybody got a pass. You just don't know it. <laughs> You're not supposed to know. You'll find out if you have to. If you have to find out, bro, you know what I mean? Oh, God. But that scene was crazy, and that lady was scared. And she was ready to um, pop caps in the motherfuckers ass too, that librarian. Oh, man, she was gangster. She had the gun ready and everything. She was like, shaking her hands. Ooh! <laughs> All right, so that's how that went down. Um, what else? I'm just, give me a second. I'm just trying to see if I could go through my memory bank because I watched so, mo so much movies today. Okay, let's just say today combined with yesterday, and I'm just like, everything is in my memory bank, and I'm just pulling shit out. I mean, pulling stuff out of my memory, you know, just to hit you with scenes, okay? Let me see. What else? I mean, overall, it's a great movie, man. Everything's solid in that in that, in that movie, man. If, if you have, if you guys haven't seen it, go see it. Like that's. That's entertainment, pure entertainment. How they went from, from, from the projects classroom to, to the non-projects, it was crazy. Like, they wanted to get an education, you know? But there was a lot of shooting. There was a lot of killing. There was teenagers that were, that, were, that were parents, and they didn't want their kids to be in gangs, but they were in gangs. Like, like what are you in a gang for, you know? What are you glorifying, you know what I'm saying? All right. I wanted to let you guys know, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. All right, my email is J-O-E-Y-B-I-G-G-S-2284 at gmail.com. J-O-E-Y-B-I-G-G-S-2284 at gmail.com, bitch. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Whew. Um, yeah, comment below, okay? Comment below and um, let me know what you guys think or if you want me to review a movie or show or whatever the hell you want me to watch. I watch it, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have problems with that. Also, uh, let me see. I'm just trying to think real quick. Um, oh, my TikTok. Okay, yes. There's a lot on my mind, guys. TikTok at Big Z Media Studios. Let's, let's get into it. B I G G S M E D I A S T U D I O S. B-I-G-G-S, M-E-D-I-A, S-T-U-D-I-O-S, all right? When I reach me, reach me any type of way you want, that's fine. Get in contact, all right? So right now at this moment, peace. Hope you enjoyed this review. I think I had a little too much fun in this one. All right, so take care, peace.